KO4 DFC here and wanted to take a minute to show you my mag mount antenna setup with the Yaesu FTM 7250D. I uh, set this up uh, just a, a few days ago and uh, ran the wires to the battery from inside the car cab. I had to go through the firewall through a grommet that was on the passenger side. Uh, I've got a uh, 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis here and this here this is a MFJ 1729 with the uh, it's the coax male coax connection on the end and the ASUS 7250 has a female coax SO239 connection there on the back and just want to quickly show you the uh, the way that I set this up because it turned out to be a pretty clean install and I did not have to drill anything into my car. So first let me show you how I actually ran the, the wires for this mag mount. The, the nice thing about this is that when I pull up the trunk lid, the, mag, the coax just goes straight down into the trunk and then I don't know how well you can see it due to the sunlight, but you just run it down. You can actually drop the cable down on the back right side and uh, you run it down to the back seat. So all that I did is run it down to that back seat. And then when I open this up, you can't see any cable right here. And that's because you, you pull up on these seats and there's there's a it's like a hook that looks kind of like this and then a bar that goes under it that's attached to the seat so when you pull the seat up it just comes out of that and then to get it back you have to push the seat back in so that it latches back under that to secure your seat but when you pull this up the coax comes down right through there. So I just reached back there. I didn't have to push the cable that far down. Just reached back there and grabbed it. And then I can actually run the coax right under the trim here. So you don't even see it. Nobody's gonna step on it. And right there is that. If I pull that up a little bit more. Right back there is that latch, that silver metal. Uh, there's a, it's just a hook. It goes under that seat bar. So, and that's secure. So I ran the coax under the trim and I've just got it where it, it comes right under the trim out just under the uh, the front passenger seat if I wanted to I could secure this a little bit better right now I've just got my radio mounted on a just a, a piece of wood uh, that's heavy and so I can position it right because I didn't want to drill into that hump. I've seen some people that have uh, essentially just mounted a radio like this into the hump, but my understanding is you can actually hit the trans uh, part of the transmission if you do that. So um, I didn't want to deal with fluids or anything just to install the radio. And also I'd kind of like to be able to take this radio in and out and if I want to swap it out for a different radio later, uh, then I can. But, uh, and, and I don't have any damage to my car. But uh, I'll probably come up with a better solution for this. I've actually ordered a seat bolt mount that I'm hoping I can use to just secure the radio to one of these seat bolts here. Uh, you pull these covers off and there's just a seat bolt. Is it right there? I'm hoping I can secure that and then kind of get it more over here in this vicinity. Um, and yeah, here's the, the wire that comes down from the grommet. If It actually runs under the floor mat there. And then just behind this, you have to drop down this whole... There's a panel here. You just pull a couple of, uh, I guess they're plastic thumb screws out. And then there's one little piece that, uh, where's that? It's one little piece you have to, to pinch. 
and once you do that actually I think that's it right there once you pinch that and drop it down then you've got access to everything back here so I just ran the wires to the battery and let's see from the driver's side That's what I see, so I can reach it. Just reach down, turn it on, there we go. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the radio install, and just to show you what that looks like under the hood. Over here, got a couple of ring terminal connectors that run to the battery. Got my uh, these uh, cables are actually the cables that came with the 7250, and it, it's got inline fuses. Runs down to that grommet just back there. And then it comes in on the passenger side. Because of where I live, I'm a little concerned about just leaving a radio mounted in the car when I go to work or if I'm out and about. So the nice thing about this is I can just push, push this and disconnect the power, disconnect the coax, and then throw the radio in the trunk. Nobody knows that there's a radio in the car. You can even tuck the wires under the floor mat and you wouldn't know that anything was there. So anyway, that's the radio install. Hope it helps you if you're trying to figure out how to install your radio in your car and if you don't want to deal with drilling into your vehicle or uh, you know if, you, if it's your first radio or something and you just want to try it out and see how it works before you really commit uh, that's a way to do it